almost out of gas. So. Hey guys, got the XS650 all painted up, Maui blue, gloss black frame, I think it turned out pretty good, so yeah, we're in pretty good now, got it all back together, tidy up some of the wiring, It's a 79, I believe. Um, it's a TC Bros hardtail frame or welding back section. Uh, custom pipes. Oh, well, basically, it, it's kickstart only. I tried running it with no battery with a capacitor, but those are it runs way better with a battery and uh, way more reliable. Um, so basically, because there's no starter, I have my I guess you'd call it the regulator uh, down there. Nice tucked away. Starts pretty good. Now it used to used to be tricky starting uh, with no battery, but now it's pretty much first kick. All my wiring is in here. Um, fuse box, everything like that. A little tricky to get to, but on the side of the road, but it looks cool. Um, so basically, uh, it's ignition first click is ignition on second click is lights on that's how i have it wired so keeps it nice and tidy up here so just have clutch and throttle cable basically all my wiring is ran and cables and everything is ran in between this um motor mount top plate up there some motors don't have a top mount up there but i utilize this one uh, just to tuck everything away so i've got a electronic uh, ignition wiring goes up to there i've got my coil tucked up there um nice and out of out of the way Throttle cables ran there. Uh, clutch and everything down in between everything. I gotta rerun these lines down to the bottom of the bike for now. It's just where they were. These, I've learned, have as much tension on them as possible. Uh, I'd probably actually run a little bit more than that. Um, but my bolts are 
maxed out, so I've taken a link out of the chain. Got a Model A stop tail light, smoked. Um, I moved this off center uh, when I was riding it um, last summer. I, I put it together just to ride around bare steel. Uh, it was offset, but not enough. And it was when this would get a little chain slack, it would rub. So I, I'm hoping, hoping I got enough clearance now. Um, fingers crossed. So it's a little off center, but most people won't notice. Also, it's got uh, I put the um, he's the Makuni carbs. Um, Rather than the stock, I, I tried running the stock um, carbs with the shaft running through, um, but they just they leaked air too bad. It was too unpredictable, and I can't seem to find. I don't know. I, I looked all over the place. The only rebuild kits you could buy were gasket kits and jets, basically. So nothing had those bushings for the rod. So you get it running lean and start high idling and. All over the place and you didn't know which side was doing it so I put the Makuni slide carbs on that just fixed ever made this thing run way better um, you got individual chokes usually you only need one choke um, the other one's a little it's not reverse anything so it's a little tricky to get to you but you can flip your finger up but you only really need one so get it fired up warmed up The other question I get asked a lot is what tank is that? It's a uh, sporty tank and channeled very heavily uh, to get it nice and low over the over the motor here. Um, I'm not a big fan of when the they're they're raked really high. Some guys are, um, but I like how this is channeled down. Um, it, is a bit of a problem when you're trying to go long distances, but it's not really like this bike is designed for long distances. More of a bar hopper, rip around town. Um, but yeah, so you got a bit of a, uh, you got a bit of, let's see if I can show you. you got a bit of a channel in, in the center there. Um, so it's fine when you're full fuel, or you might full, but you know, got a decent amount of fuel. When you start running low, it can be a problem because all your fuel will sit on this side of the frame and you kind of got to slosh the fuel over to the other side. Um, but as long as you don't run on that on empty, it's fine and it just gives a nice, nice low fit over the frame. The fender is a front fender that's been converted into a rear fender. Uh, these you can get at TC Bros. I have to paint those still, they're just rusty looking. But Yeah. Sounds good, looks good. Can't wait to ride it this summer. Now it's all painted up, looks like a finished bike. It did look cool raw steel, but it was a lot of work to keep looking decent and I was afraid it was gonna look like that Model A soon, so. <laughs> I had to do something to color. I literally had no idea what I was gonna do, um, but I think it turned out great. I had it painted uh, kind of a candy apple red, that just the tank for you I liked it. I did like it, but. I figure I'll do, the t I'll do the frame black and then if I don't like the color I can always change it up. There's only two pieces of paint so. I might get some nice hardware, chrome hardware, polish the cases up. Really make it shine. But yeah. Looks like a really old bike. It's old but it's not that old. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so as I was making the video, uh, editing, I uh, thought maybe I'd ask you guys, the internet, throw this question out. Um, the only issue I'm having with the bike, uh, I was having an issue last year with it, and 
I'm assuming I'm probably gonna have the same problem again. Um, I was hoping to fix it just with a bigger ground wire. Um, when I'm run, running the bike, idling around lower, you know, lower to mid, mid high RPMs, it's totally fine. Uh, when I start really getting on it, like I still have the stock gearing. Um, those bikes need a sixth gear really bad or longer, taller gears or something. Um, I might upgrade the back sprocket, the smallest one I can get, but I think the smallest one's only like a, 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 a tooth or one or two teeth smaller. So I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but, uh, so I was saying that I had that, um, electronic, uh, ignition instead of the points. Um, the one I have tends to, some people have issues with it. Um, so that may be my issue. I was hoping it was a grounding issue. Um, but basically the higher RPMs, uh, it starts to break up. Uh, I thought it was fuel related before when I had the, you know, the old original carbs, um, that fixed a lot of the issue, uh, more idling, uh, you know, hanging idles and stuff like that. Um, so now it's just high RPMs. Um, you know, pulling hills, doing like a hundred K, uh, um, it starts to break up and I was at, before I took the bike apart, I was noticing when I have the headlight on, um, if I start revving it up higher and higher, I can almost watch the headlights start to cut out and start to dim. So it may be my wiring because I have everything wired through that ignition switch. I might have something off there where I have my main power going through that ignition switch, very possible. Um, so I might have to look into that. Maybe that switch can't handle the amount of juice it's pushing when it's, you know, running at whatever high RPM those things run at. Um, so hopefully, anybody, anyways, any other suggestions anybody has? Um, that's the one little frustration with the bike is the short gearing and it's exacerbated by that problem where it starts it, and it almost it's hit or miss sometimes it's fine sometimes not so i don't know if it's as it the bike starts getting hot or the wires you know the wiring that it's going through maybe starts the tolerances start spreading or uh, if it's a moisture issue more moisture at a certain time of day um yeah if i just rip it around my house um or around town it's fine. You just kind of lug it like a, you know, rip it like a Harley. <laughs> it's not, but you know, those bikes make a lot of motors, make a lot of torque. Um, but if you start trying to rip it hard down the highway or up a hill or something on the highway, it starts to kind of so yeah. Anyways, thought I'd throw that out there. If anybody's got any suggestions, there's a dog there. Um, feel free to throw it in the comments. Uh, thanks.